Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service Podcasts. In this podcast, we'll see how artificial intelligence could make the agri-food sector more resilient, especially in the light of the current supply chain disruptions. Want to know more? Stay with us. Having trouble finding your favorite cereal or yogurt brand in the supermarket? Well, you're not the only one. Russia's war on Ukraine is hitting the global food supply chain and its effects are being felt across the entire food industry. But what if artificial intelligence could help remedy this situation? Its role in agriculture and food production is certainly gaining importance, but the scope for more. AI applications are already being used in precision farming, value chain integrity, personalized nutrition, food safety or transparency and traceability. But AI can help achieve bigger goals, such as the transition to a climate-neutral agriculture, ending hunger in the world and improving nutrition and food security. Robots, satellites, drones, sensor-based monitoring and irrigation systems and other sophisticated equipment used in modern farms provide detailed, accurate and real-time information on, for example, soil quality, crop growth, the presence of pests or production processes and conditions on the farm. This wealth of data allows farmers to fine-tune strategies in order to improve productivity while minimizing negative impacts on the environment. And AI can also improve supply chain management. For example, tracking systems based on the Internet of Things, such as those relying on radio frequency identification, have become essential to improve supply chain efficiency and to ensure product quality and consumer safety. AI systems with advanced sensors improve harvest quality and accuracy in agriculture, with growing opportunities for precision farming. But AI applications can also help to improve how food is processed, packaged, stored and transported, prepared, served, eaten and not wasted. However, as with other technological advances, AI in this domain comes with its own set of benefits, risks, ethical issues and societal implications. It raises concerns regarding equitable access, privacy and liability, as well as bias, inclusiveness, accuracy, availability and representativeness in the data sets. But also data ownership, cybersecurity and the effects, positive and negative, of integrating big data and AI technologies into agri-farm systems. For instance, how will they impact on traditional jobs and current business models? There are indeed many questions requiring an answer. How to balance potential benefits against potential risks? How to govern the use of these technologies? Or how to incorporate social and ethical considerations into the policy and legal frameworks being developed? What's clear is that the application of AI in the agri-food chain cannot be considered independently from other European policies, such as the Green Deal, the Farm to Fork Strategy, or the Artificial Intelligence Act, as they are deeply intertwined. And it's not a one-size-fits-all development. There are regional and national agricultural specificities and a diversity of actors with different needs and situations that need to be taken into account when developing European legislation and strategies in this field. Here's Andres García Higuera from the European Parliamentary Research Service. Many of the first and most commonly used industrial applications of AI have always been related to supply chain management. AI has been successfully used for a very long time in shelf replenishment and to drive production according to the demand, as well as to ensure an optimal allocation of resources. This is therefore a mature technology to use in these situations of crisis, where requirements are very similar to those of managing supplies under strong market pressure. Being application so close to its original purpose, also in the context of the European Green Deal, AI has a huge potential to help provide solutions for strategic sectors, significantly improving their capacity to cope with the stress. There is certainly much to be gained, given that AI was first developed at industrial level as a tool to help improve efficiency in production and logistics. As such, it can help optimize the management of production and distribution of strategic goods, such as microchips, water, energy, fertilizers, pesticides or food products. It's all a question of managing risks and benefits. Want to know more? Check out Andres García Higuera's full policy brief on the EPRS website or in our app. 
This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening. 